All right, so welcome to part two. Uh, so these are the two specimens I'm gonna be showing you uh, in this part. Uh, so I got a butterfly, and then I got a grasshopper that I'm gonna spread as well. Um, and the grasshoppers that you usually tend to spread are the band wing grasshoppers, uh, which have colors and patterns on the hind wing that uh, help aid in identification. Uh, but uh, start off with everything, I think I'm gonna do the uh, butterfly first. Uh, so get that out of the way. Get some pins ready. All right, so uh, uh, pin butterflies. Uh, I gently hold it on the bottom uh, by the thorax like that without touching it as little as, little as possible. And uh, like other ones, you uh, put the pin uh, perpendicular through the body. And I'm going to use the forceps, get it up to the height I like, and then use the forceps to help uh, open the wings. And uh, this one surprisingly cooperative and then uh, place it in the spreading board and uh, for uh, spreading board I use a uh, blue boards from uh, BioQuip um, they're cost-effective and uh, a lot more sturdier than like regular uh, st regular like white styrofoam uh, uh, spreading boards uh, so they're dense they hold the pins well and uh, Great, great product that I really like and I use. Uh, but you, uh, get the butterfly uh, flat with the board so the wings uh, aren't like spread down or spread up. They're just nice and flat. What I do is uh, just put a pin on each side right there. And typically uh, their wings tend to like keep folding up uh, so you would use these just to keep the wings down. Uh, but because these wings are staying down, I'm going to remove that a little. And then uh, use the pin to move the wing up. And then uh, Pin that wing in place. Then uh, same thing with the hind wing. And fold that up. Grab behind a vein and pull that wing up as well. And pull that down. Make sure it's uh, flat. Then there you have a uh, one side done. So now I gotta do that to the other side. So because the wings are flat, you know, there is a pin behind the large uh, vein. Just.
Carefully pull the wing up till it's about 90 degree angle to the body. Make sure it's nice and taut. And then that wing is in place. And like the other side, lift it up. Pull the hind wing forward. Oh, came down. And boom, you have a spread butterfly. Nice uh, wings across, the hind wings are up, uh, the antenna are in good shape so you don't have to do much with that. The abdomen staying up so it should dry perfectly like that. Then you just leave it on the board for at least a week to make sure it's thoroughly dry because you don't want to take it off the board and then have the wing start sating on you. Uh, yeah, that's a butterfly. So next I'm going to do the grasshopper. So like in part one, uh, you pin the, the grasshopper on the right side of the ridge on the thorax there. So I'll set it to the head I want it. Uh, sure the hind, hind legs are down. Then uh, carefully take the wing, one of the wings. And open it up. And as you see, an uh, absolutely gorgeous high, red hind wing right there. But that's what you want to display. It helps with uh, ID. So I'm just going to put it. On the bottom there. Um, I like using the right wing. Uh, other people prefer the left wing. I haven't heard of which way, if there's a right or wrong. Uh, but since this is the way I've been doing it, that's kind of like my personal preference. Uh, I'm trying to find my scissors. All right, I had to cut a piece of. Paper off there. Uh, but I like the butterfly. You get it uh, flat with the surface. Pull the wing up. Like that.
And there you have the Wayne or the Grasshopper spread as well. And then, oops, take other pins. Uh, put the antenna uh, where you want the hind legs. Hold the abdomen up. So I'm gonna put that there, kind of two on one there. Uh, the antenna looked good to me, or for for me at least. Um, but yeah. So uh, first few tries in the spreading stuff, it's kind of difficult, but once you start doing it over and over and over, it gets uh, easier and easier. Uh, so I'm gonna get the uh, rest of my stuff pin that I started in the last video. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, keep on bugging. And uh, don't forget to check out my Instagram uh, for exclusive pictures uh, that you will not see on my YouTube channel. Uh, Instagram is also called Daily Entomologist. Uh, so uh, go follow that as well. See you guys later.